Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to show you a very simple way to make homemade nachos. So let's get right into the video. So to start with, we're going to make the guacamole dip. So for that, we're using three ripe avocados. They're pretty ripe. And you're going to use a masher and mash those until they are a somewhat thick um, consistency. So don't make it too watery, but you still want it to be nice and finely mashed. Okay, so now once the um, avocados are mashed, you're going to go ahead and add one lemon. So you're just gonna squeeze um, the lemon juice out of the lemon and you're just gonna add that in and give it a nice mix. And once you're done doing that, we're just gonna add a few toppings. So some tomatoes, um, basil leaves, and onion chopped. So over here we have um, cooked our bacon. And now we're just going to, so make sure these are cooked until you fry them on a frying pan until they're nice and crispy. And you're gonna go ahead and cut them into small pieces like this. So it's gonna be easier to add them into the nachos. Now we're going to be cutting up a um, jalapeno pepper. So don't use too much of this. So one pepper should be fine because they're pretty spicy. So you don't want it to over um, spice your nachos. So one jalapeno pepper just into small pieces so we can add those on top as the toppings. So once you've chopped the jalapeno peppers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a tray. So you can use a baking tray for this. Um, it might, might be the easiest. And you're gonna get your nacho chips. So we're using um, corn chips right now for nachos. And you're just gonna evenly spread them out on the baking tray. Um, so we've added some mozzarella cheese and some cheddar cheese on top. And you're gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. You can also use um, pasta sauce if you don't have tomato sauce, like pure tomato sauce. We're using um, pasta sauce right now and it works totally fine. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna nice and, uh, you're just gonna spread it all around the chips. Um, and then on top of that, what you're gonna add is you're gonna add some bacon. So don't, not too much, you don't wanna like over flood it with bacon, but uh, just a little bit of bacon um, on top of the sauce. And once you've added that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add in some kidney beans. So all these things that we're adding are store bought. So the only really thing you need to like chop are the tomatoes, the jalapeno peppers, the onions, the um, the uh, sweet peppers. So yeah, next we're adding in olives. So these are black olives. These are canned olives too, so it's easier to just just have to wash them and you can put them right in. Um, now we're adding some finely chopped onions. Make sure they're not too big because if they're too big, then you're gonna have big onion chunks in the nachos and you don't want that. And on top of that, you're gonna add some. Uh, sweet peppers we're using green pepper you can use any pepper you wanted to um and then some finely chopped uh tomatoes so smaller pieces and you can have tomatoes um cut into bigger pieces if you want because it's not as bad as onions um and then we've added some more cheese because cheese is like one of the main things in the nachos so you can go ahead and just overpower your nachos with cheese if you want it to be very cheesy so we're using both mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese together so uh, you can use just one or the other, or you can use both. Um, so yeah, we've put cheese on them. And then you can go ahead and repeat the exact same thing with another layer of chips. You can add more, um, you can add more corn chips onto it and just repeat the exact same thing. You can just keep layering it until you have um, the right amount you need. So we are finally done with all our toppings. So we're just gonna um, finish it off with some jalapeno peppers nicely on top with some basil leaves. And of course, some more cheese on the top just to finish the overall look of the nachos.
is the final look of the nacho before it goes into the oven. But before we put it into the oven, we're just going to add a little bit of sauce, so tomato sauce or uh, pasta sauce. And this is so that it's not too dry at the top, so the cheese doesn't like, dry up all of a sudden. It's going to be a little moist at the top, so it's going to be easier to eat. So that's why you add a little bit, not too much, just a little bit uh, here and there, and you can put them right into the oven. All right, so now it is time to put the nachos into the oven. So I did preheat the oven to 350 degrees before putting the nachos in. Um, and then after that, you're going to set it for around five minutes. So this uh, will depend on how much nacho you make. So for us, we just set it for five minutes and it was perfectly fine. Right, you don't need to cook, you don't need to bake it for too long because you're just making the cheese melt. So five minutes should be great. And then you can open it up and you can see those nachos are ready to eat. And the cheese is melted really nicely. It's important that the cheese melts or else it won't taste as good. So make sure the cheese fully melts. And yeah, so here's the nachos. That's the final look of how the nachos look when they came out of the oven. Okay, so now to top it all off, you can um, just have this guacamole dip on the side but we decided to put it on top of the nachos so you can just like dip it from the top either works um so yeah we make sure you're always mixing the guacamole because you know it's going to take time when you're making the nachos and you don't want it to turn brown so make sure you're always mixing it um here and then and you can just spread it out on top and it's ready to eat mm, super mm. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to definitely go and try these nachos out. It is definitely one to try. It's really it's not it's not too hard, but um, it's it's a great result in the end. So uh, yeah, let us know how it is in the comments below, and we'll see you guys all next week. Thanks for watching.